Hello everybody, this is Corbin from Zoco Marketing and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to start a Google Ads campaign from step zero. We're gonna go through every single little detail. I'm gonna sh share everything that I do to create a successful campaign, all the little tips and tricks um, that I've learned over the years, all compacted into one video. So this is gonna be setting up a, a campaign from start to finish. So we're gonna jump right in. As you can see right now, I am at uh, Google uh, ads.google.com slash home, uh, and we are going to simply hit start now. Now, once we hit start now, we are going to, you might have some different options, uh, but for me, I'm gonna hit new, uh, new Google Ads account because I wanna start fresh, just like you guys, are, whatever you're gonna be seeing when you set this account up. Okay, so we are inside of Google Ads right now, and Google is going to try and get you to do their guided setup. Uh, but because you're going through this video, I want you to go right down here and switch straight to expert mode. This is gonna walk you through some unnecessary steps and try and get you to waste money. Um, keep in mind, Google's goals are not your goals. Google's goals is to make as much money as they possibly can from your advertising dollars. And sometimes they do that by um, taking advantage of people who aren't sure exactly what's going on in the platform. So we're gonna switch right over here to expert mode to make sure that we're, all of our advertising dollars are going to the right place. And don't worry, I'll be walking you through every step so we know exactly what we're doing. Okay, so there are a lot of different goals here for this situation. Uh, if you're an e-commerce store, you're gonna be want, uh, looking at sales. If you're like a B2B company, maybe leads. In this case, we're gonna go for leads. Um, it doesn't really matter too much which one of these you pick, but we're gonna go leads this in this case. Uh, for this, for this uh, exercise, we're gonna be creating a standard text ad, so we're gonna go search. And we would like to reach website visits and you can put in your website here. So I'm going to put, um, we're, let's, let's say we are selling socks in this situation. So we're going to be www.com slash sock. Actually, no, I'm going to, I'm going to just do Zoco marketing for this URL. And so we have our website right there. Uh, and then we're going to, we're not gonna worry about conversion tracking right now. We're gonna come back to this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a different video for conversion tracking separately. Don't worry about this right now, just hit continue. All right, and now we are in the actual campaign. So we're gonna give this a name. Uh, and as I mentioned in this example, I'm gonna act like we are trying to sell socks. So I'm gonna call this um, awesome sock campaign. Awesome socks is what we'll call it. <clears throat> um, now here's a very important step. As I mentioned, Google's goals are not your goals. Here's one of the ways that Google tries to take advantage of people um, who maybe aren't familiar with what they're doing. There are cases where you want to leave these boxes checked, but for 95% for of the time, you're gonna wanna uncheck these. And once we uncheck them, Google's gonna give us this warning saying, most advertisers do this, that's not the case. So watch this, we hit uncheck, and Google gives us this alert saying that most advertisers use these, these search partners. These search partners are kind of like a black box. Not a lot of people know exactly where their ads are getting placed. We wanna show up actually on Google search results page. We don't want any of their partner pages, which are millions of different sites. So we don't wanna show up on those. Same with this display network, we're gonna opt out of that. And like I said, don't let these little notifications worry you because your goals are not Google's goals. We wanna make as much sales or leads as possible without spending as much money and Google wants you to spend as much money as possible. Okay, so we're gonna stay in here and I'm gonna dig right into, the, we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. So we're even gonna look at all these show more settings and I'm gonna tell you which ones you need to worry about and which ones you don't. So start and end date, uh, if you do have a strict budget and you're running only for a week or whatever, this would be a good idea to uh, set an end date. I'm not gonna worry about that in this, this option, we're gonna have no end date. Um, campaign URL options, this is if you wanna add your UTM parameters right here. Typically I don't add them at this stage, I will add them later. Uh, so we won't worry about that part right now. Um, don't worry about dynamic search ads and then a schedule. If you have data suggesting that uh, your ads perform better uh, on a certain day or a certain hour of the week, then worry about this ad schedule. But if not, keep it as it is and let the data flow in and then make optimizations from there. Uh, locations, pretty straightforward. We're gonna keep this in the United States. Uh, language, we're gonna keep English. Audiences, um, this is a little bit more of an advanced study, so I'm not gonna dive too much into this, but just know um, there are some cool things that you can do inside of these audiences to add on top of your targeting, but we're not gonna jump into it right here. Uh, budget, we're gonna set a uh, campaign budget. We'll just say this is $10 a day. 
and then uh, bidding strategy. Oh, I got one a little bit too far. Um, here's where you can set your bidding strategy. There are a lot of different bidding strategies uh, that that have different goals. When you're starting out with a new account, 99% of the time, you're just going to optimize for clicks. As you get more data and more advanced, you can start optimizing for conversions or for uh, return on uh, conversion value, so uh, actual dollars. But we're going to stick with clicks here. Um, uh, and then we're going to go down here, show more settings. We're going to see what this is about. We're going to leave these as are the conversions set for the, the account level. And then we're going to keep our ads optimized for best performing ads. Um, now here is what's called uh, site link extensions. If you're not familiar with what those are, uh, I'll show a picture of them right here. They show a, basically, um, you can add these underneath your ads to take up more space. Um, so these are valuable to add. We're not going to go over them currently right now. But uh, just so you're familiar with what those are, we're going to hit save and continue. Okay. And now we're going to give this. So now we are in the ad group level. So you can have inside of a campaign, you can have multiple ad groups. So say for we're, us, we have our awesome socks campaign. Where you would want to break that up is say we're selling blue socks and then we have, we're selling red socks. So we want to make ad groups for each of those. In this case, we're going to focus on the blue socks campaign. So this ad group we'll call blue socks. Right now it's pulling from my website that I put in there and taking all these keywords. We're going to delete that real quick. We're going to delete these. Um, so these are all of our keyword targetings. These are when our text ads will show up. So because we're in the blue socks uh, campaign, we are going to add the keywords blue socks, um, maybe like dark blue socks, and uh, uh, maybe navy socks. So you kind of get the idea, just coming up with your keyword ideas. I'm not gonna cover too much into keywords in this point. Hopefully you have an idea of what people will be searching for to find your business. Uh, but we're gonna call this blue socks, dark, dark blue socks, navy socks is our ad group campaign. Um, if you wanted to, you could put in your, your website URL right here and Google will pull keywords from your website. It's sometimes very helpful. I don't actually have a socks shop, socks shop. So um, I, can't, I can't use that option in this uh, hypothetical situation here. Um, from here, if you wanted to create another ad group, this is helpful, like I said, if you had blue socks, red socks. So if we wanted to come here and hit a new ad group and call this one red socks, and then do the same thing, add our, our, our red socks keyword. So red socks, um, dark red socks, and you get the idea. Okay, from here, we are going to hit save and continue. And finally, we're on to our ads. Now it's best practice inside of each ad group to have at least three to four different ads inside of there. So um, we have our URL. Um, Google always gives you this warning. You wanna make sure you have the HTTPS here. So we're HTTPS uh, backslash Zoco Marketing. Um, and from here, you fill out your headline. So um, we are selling some awesome dark blue socks. Um, and you know, maybe we're given 10% off this week. Um, I'm not going to sit here and write out these ads cause you guys get the idea. Um, but here's where you can add up to three headlines and a couple of descriptions. So this is where you have 90 characters to, um, talk about your, your product or service. And we'll say, this is my product. And once you're done filling that out, you can then go create more ads inside of here and hit save and continue. Now it's gonna tell me, I can add more to my ads because I've only created one. Like I said, for your situation, you wanna go through and create at least three to four. And after this, this is a brand new account, so it's gonna ask for my billing information. So we're gonna hit save here. It's gonna take me here and it's gonna say, confirm your payment method. Um, once you hit, uh, you submit your payment method, you have now successfully success, successfully created a Google ads campaign and you are ready to run. Um, hopefully this video was helpful for anybody who is just starting out. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If there are other videos you'd like me to create, um, don't forget to let me know in the comments as well. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.